Hi everyone, my name is Andy Davis and welcome to my first ever vlog for Landis Communications. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about me so you get to know me better and yeah, so let's get started. Last year I graduated from the University of Oregon with a BS in Public Relations and I couldn't be more excited to be here. I'm from Marin County, California and I currently live in the house that my mother grew up in which is kind of cool. I'm an animal lover, I have a Siberian Husky named Indy, two cats named Ozzy and Pickles, and a tiny little hamster named Otis. One of my favorite things to do is help my aunt train foster dogs for the Milo Foundation in Richmond, California, and help set them up for their forever home. When I'm not working, you can find me at the SF MoMA looking at art, at Baker Beach, playing with my dog, or brushing up on my photography skills. Ever since I was a little girl, I've loved all things arts related, whether that be drawing, painting, sculpting, dancing, you name it, I've done it. And on occasion, you can find me doing those things too. So my senior year, I worked with 90 by 30, a nonprofit um, in my campaigns class. 90 by 30 is a community driven effort to reduce child abuse and neglect by 90% by the year 2030 in Lane County, Oregon. Um, I worked with my teammates and we had 11 weeks to work with this client and help them with their communications issue. The client came to us saying, hey, the issue that we're dealing with right now is that nobody knows who we are and we are struggling to help the community find their role in preventing child abuse and neglect. So my team got to thinking and we decided we wanted to target local businesses. Um, our game plan was to provide businesses content that we would al already have created and present to them. Um, all they would have to do is post to social media showing support for 90 by 30 in their cause. And then we would add them to a socially conscious business map that would be distributed to students, parents, and teachers at University of Oregon. Uh, we started off by having the goal of getting just five businesses to post our content and keep in mind we only had 11 weeks, which wasn't a lot of time. And by the end of the 11 weeks, we were actually able to almost double that number. We got nine businesses to post content, which was amazing. The client loved that, but we didn't want to just stop there. We wanted to provide the client with something moving forward. So the following month was April, which is National Prevent Child Abuse Month. Um, and usually for this month, 90 by 30 asks local businesses to put out pinwheel gardens. And it's a super cute idea, but not super environmentally friendly. So my group got to thinking, well, what's a way that we can still honor this idea and this Thing that they've been doing for so long um, but in a new way and that got my group thinking well what if we did a social media campaign called pass the pinwheel and pass the pinwheel was modeled after the ALS ice bucket challenge in the sense that 90 by 30 would post content that we had already created for them and they would tag five businesses and those five businesses could then decide to either share the content and raise awareness about 90 by 30 and the issue of child abuse and neglect in Lane County, Oregon, or they could choose to donate, which would also help 90 by 30 continue doing the work that they've been doing. Um, so the client absolutely loved that and they loved that we produced real results for them. Um, and it we had a lot of fun doing it too. I mean, it was really, really cool to be part of that project. That just gives you one example of something that I've worked on and my experience in PR and communications. Um, but I hope to show you more of what I have to offer and I hope to be producing more vlogs for you in the future. So thanks guys, see you soon.